What's 17 feet tall, home to all kinds of sea creatures, and is made entirely out of sand? I guess this is pulverized mountain. The answer is this sculpture by Tacoma native Sue McGrew. For more than 10 years, she's been building towering works of art that defy gravity. I'm really lucky to say I have this really cool job. I get to play in the sand and make amazing sand sculptures. Truly amazing. She caught the sand sculpting bug while at Bellarmine Prep. Despite no formal training, Sue has built sculptures all over the world, Korea, Japan, and Brazil, where this 40-foot tall piece broke the Guinness World Record. I love working with my hands and being able to really carve something, step back and say, wow, I made that. It bears repeating. Sue and her crew are building this out of the same stuff you use to make sandcastles on the beach. What you see here is 100 tons of sand, which is basically like 20 elephants all compressed into a little pile, which is a lot. The sculpture begins with blocks of sand mixed with water. You're bah, 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 pounding it down and pounding it down because you really need the sand to be pressed together so all the individual grains line up. And then on top of that, you build another box, another box, and then it looks like a layered cake by the time you're done with it. The team begins carving at the top using the boxes as scaffolding. The boxes are removed as they work their way down. How long did it take you? This is day 13. Sand sculpting is actually just one giant magic trick. <laughs> the finished piece is topped with bird wires. Because I don't want a peacock on my sculpture. On the morning of the 15th day, Sue and her crew can celebrate. Woo! <laughs> Cheese! Sand sculptures harden as they dry, but even this beauty is fleeting. Warning signs have no effect on weather, birds, and little ones. Oh no, guys, we can't get in there. Some people always ask, oh, well, aren't you sad that it doesn't last? But for me, it's actually part of what I love about it because it's ephemeral. It's more about interacting with people. We oh. made that? Yeah, we made that. And getting to watch how people just light up when they see a sand sculpture that's this big. I spend a lot of time on the beach. That's how I learned how to make it.